Ladies, it's time to get your birth control under control. The Supreme Court is reviewing a case from Mississippi that could overturn Roe v. Wade, which is your right to get an abortion. Right now, the Mississippi law bans abortion at 15 weeks. The decision in the case, Dobbs versus Jackson's Women's Health Organization, will be early next year. Lower courts said the law was plainly unconstitutional under Roe, which forbids states from banning abortions until the fetus is viable. That is, the point at which fetuses can sustain life outside a womb or at about 23 to 24 weeks. A Roe v. Wade reversal would be devastating. States with pre-row bans include Alabama, Arizona, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Wisconsin. But let's be clear, abortion right now in all 50 states is legal. Here's what you could do to be proactive with your birth control. Number one, get your birth control lined up under control and automated. A, know all your options from the IUD to the pill, to condoms, spermicide, and be sure to get your information from trusted birth control websites such as Planned Parenthood, Pandia Health, and .edu websites. B, get it delivered. Know that there's many delivery systems out there and know that in 20 states, you can get a year's supply of birth control sent to you by mail. Just make sure your doctor knows to write 13 packs or 17 packs if you're making hashtag periods optional. C, get quality healthcare. You don't want the cheapest option. You want the best option and the best care. Number two, get emergency contraception before you need it. A, for anyone with a uterus, you need this in case you are sexually assaulted. B, know that plan B and its generics do not work if your body mass index, BMI, is 26 or greater. So everybody with a uterus, grab your phone, punch in your height, your weight, under a BMI calculator, make sure it's not 26 or more. If it's 26 or more, then your only options are prescription emergency contraception, Ella, or the IUD options. C, know that there are four types of emergency contraception. Thanks former President Obama and thanks current President Biden for passing the Affordable Care Act, which requires any FDA approved birth control be covered with no copay, no deductible if you have insurance. The most effective emergency contraception, the IUD. It's 99.99999% effective for preventing pregnancies. Ella is the second most effective emergency contraception. It requires a prescription, so ask your doctor to write it in advance of you needing it. The third most effective is Plan B and its generics. The last least effective emergency contraception is you can take four birth control pills now and four in 12 hours. However, it has to have levonorgestrel or norgestrel and it has to be a certain dose. Tip number three, consider skipping the sugar pills on your birth control pill or the week of bleeding on your patch or your ring. With the patch, you can only do this up to 12 weeks in a row and then you need to bleed because the estrogen builds up and you can have a blood clot. But the reason you may want to make hashtag periods optional or skip that bleeding week is the fewer days that you're off your active pills or on your placebo, the greater the efficacy that the birth control will be. The other added benefits of making hashtag periods optional or skipping that bleeding week is it decreases your chance of ovarian, endometrial, and colorectal cancer. It also is good for acne, depression, seizure disorders, diabetes, and asthma. It also decreases landfill because the fewer times you bleed, the less need for menstrual hygiene products. And lastly, vote and ask your elected officials where they stand on Roe v. Wade and abortion rights. If you don't like their answers, consider running for office or asking someone who does support reproductive rights. We do not want Roe v. Wade reversed and that we express our outrage that anyone would consider banning abortion. My body, my choice, your body, your choice. No uterus, don't talk to me about this.